Hello and welcome everyone to the Gutenberg Museum. Please follow me during this amazing tour. It was so easy to read the news this morning, no? Of course, you go and buy a newspaper and in five minutes you sit on your sofa to read them. Or that new book that you are reading. You went to the library and just between all those bestsellers. Or even the brochure you have in your hands right now. So fast and easy. But have you ever thought about how people years ago did that? How they did read the book or the news? I assure you that it was not easy as now. And in this tour, you will learn why. The story began during the Renaissance. So first, let me explain to you a little bit about it. It was a period of European cultural, artistic, political and economic rebirth following the Middle Ages. It took place from the 14th to the 17th century and it was influenced by the concept of humanism, a movement that promoted the idea that the man was the center of his own universe and people should embrace human achievements in education, classical art, literature and science. During this period, there were a lot of inventions that changed people's life, like the clocks, the eyeglasses, the microscope and many more. But today, I'd like to tell you the story about this revolutionary invention, the printing press. Johannes Gutenberg is usually seated as the inventor of the printing press. Indeed, his contribution to the technology was revolutionary. During the Middle Ages, each copy of a book typically had to be written by hand, copied page by page. But during the 14th, this German craftsman, with this invention, transformed the process and started using the first printing press. His invention combined more pieces of metal type that could be reused with a press that produces sharp impressions on paper over and over again. But although he is always cited as the inventor, the truth is that he only contributed to it. The first, first printing press was invented in China, nearly 600 years before Gutenberg. Chinese monks were setting ink to paper using a method known as block printing in which wooden blocks were coated with ink and pressed to sheet of paper. But the story changed in the middle of the 15th century, when Johannes Gutenberg established himself as a goldsmith and craftsman in France. Gutenberg began experimenting to develop a more efficient method of printing. But what really set Gutenberg apart from his predecessors in Asia was his development of a press that mechanized the transfer of ink from mobile type to paper. Gutenberg developed the press perfectly suited for printing. The first printing press allowed for an assembly line style production process that was much more efficient than pressing paper to ink by hand. So, although it was not his invention, he performed it in order to make the process faster, easier and cheaper. But why was this discovery so important for the Renaissance period? Well, because this period was characterized by the idea that people should be immersed in knowledge. So they started demanding more and more books. And this invention fulfilled this need. It was believed that with the knowledge of great the ancient writers, you could be the governor of an empire, a captain of industry or a general. You could do anything as long as you read. In addition to this, before the printing press, knowledge was spread orally or sometimes through expensive handwritten books. And when this invention appeared, it made possible to educate people faster, mainly because for the first time in history, books could be mass-produced, and this made them cheaper. 
This invention not only improved education, it also made possible the massive distribution around the world of one of the most famous books in history, the Bible. And this important event marked the start of the Gutenberg Revolution. Something very interesting about this event was that, although the printing press produced a lot of Bibles, the church was not in favor of this, because they used to have the best labor force for copying manuscripts, and in that way, they controlled religious literature. So, the discovery of the printing press made the church feel that they were losing control over information, and in 1487, the Pope established a declaration of censorship, requiring all printed publications to be approved by the church. But luckily, years later, this censorship was over. As you can see, this invention changed people's life in many ways, not only because it radically changed the way in which people consume news and because it helped to power the revolution of science and education, but also, and so important, because it allowed everyone to have a voice and choose what they wanted to read and learn about. The tour is over, but we are sure that the next time you read a book, a magazine or a newspaper, you will take a minute to stop and think about the rich story of printing technology, something that we often take for granted. Thank you all for coming today.